you have WooCommerce store and many Shopify stores, and you're looking for a tool that helps you transfer data from WooCommerce to Shopify quickly without site info requirements? Let's try out W2S, migrate WooCommerce to Shopify, and see how it can reduce your workload incredibly. To install the plugin, simply upload the zip file you've downloaded here. Now that the plugin is activated successfully, let's go to the settings and start configuring it. First of all, you would need to fill the required credentials of your Shopify stores. To know how you can get these required info, we'll leave a tutorial video below, please check the description box. After saving the correct credentials, you'll see your Shopify store domains here, also the settings for data migration for each store. Now let's configure the settings for data migration, starting from product data. All the migration settings are similar, so I'll make an example with the products and orders migration settings only. These options are quite easy to understand, so I'll skip them. But the last two settings might need your attention. Map the WooCommerce product status to the corresponding Shopify product status. Shopify products has three statuses, active, archived, and draft. If the not import option is selected in the to Shopify column, the products with the corresponding status in the from WooCommerce column will not be imported to Shopify. The import product meta field settings allow you to import the product meta. This meta key will be added to product vendor or product barcode or product type or product meta fields according to your selection. I'll select the barcode and another one for the Shopify product meta fields. In this case, you would need to select the meta field type and enter the post meta key. I'll make a test with this meta key. Here's the result when you finish importing. Now for the orders migration settings, you may need to take care of the order status mapping settings. Orders are either open or archived, but can have additional statuses. The payment status of an order is an important part of the information that determines what tasks you need to do for an order. Orders have one or more of the following payment statuses. And the fulfillment status. Fulfillment status refers to information on whether an order is processed and currently await shipment. Your order is in fulfillment means that it is processed and currently await shipment. Fulfillment status has different stages, fulfilled, partial, or restocked. If the fulfillment is null, the order has no fulfillment status. Let's have a look at the result. Once you've done the configuration settings, you'll be able to migrate the data right away. In this field, select the data you want to import and disable the data you want to exclude according to necessity and click import. When the process is done, you will receive a notification. After importing data, if there's any changes of products and orders data from WooCommerce side, you can always synchronize and update. This cron product sync settings allow you to set the timer to automatically synchronize the imported product data. First, enable this option to use the sync function and choose at least one Shopify store to sync the data. Now, you can configure the cron settings, schedule the time to automatically synchronize the product data. The schedule time after being set will appear here. You can synchronize the products and orders data manually in the products and orders list of WooCommerce. These two parts can be done quite similar, so I would just synchronize the products data. In the products list of WooCommerce, select the products you want to sync the data. Then click the Sync to Shopify button. 
In this box, select the domain and data update options to synchronize. If you save the poppable keep your selected options the next time you sync. And now, sync the imported products. Once the update is done, it'll show you the notification here, letting you know if the process is successful or not. Another way, you can hover over the product with imported successfully products, there'll be a sync button for you to sync that product only. Click it and sync the data. To synchronize the imported orders data, you can do the same in the orders list of WooCommerce. You can always see your migration history with logs. Go to Wood to Shopify, logs. It saves your full migration record here, with the time, date, imported data, and the imported status.